Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today we have a fun new model from Legends of Signum. This is Didier the Bell Ringer, because what better weapon do you need to go into battle with than a giant bell? Now, if you were going to say a cowbell, that would be a, a appropriate second choice option. But yeah, this dude is wading into battle with a bell as if he was a plague bringer almost. Maybe he's... Is the Plague Bringer's previous incarnation. 32 millimeter base. I do like that. Can't get the light there. Legends of Signum does have their own bases. At least for the smaller stuff. We've got the card. I am continuing to amass them. Hopefully someday I am going to get a chance to actually play the game. Like at this point I almost have enough stuff to field everybody. For at least one side. How many parts does our friend Didier have? Let's find out. The French name. I'm sure I'm still pronouncing it incorrectly, but I apologize. Ooh, a fair amount. I like when I have complex little models. He is a stout, portly fellow. Nice details, though. Let's say, I want to say he was part of the Militia Watch or something like that. Obviously, that's why he's going to be carrying a bell. This would make Christopher Walken proud. A shield. With a bell. A fancy little cape. And then a hand. And a very fabulous looking helmet. Look at that thing. And he is a very... Mustached man. What do we got here? It looks like dagger and flash. Okay, just a dagger then. Where? Okay, I was wondering where his left arm was. It's actually already holding the shield, so that's good. One thing about Legends of Signum models, if you haven't built any, they are very clean and very easy to work with. Um, that's about the only little snip I think I need to make. Might need to straighten that out a little bit, but, you know, that almost always comes with the territory of really thin parts. That's not a huge issue. Everything else is looking quite nice. So, give me a sec. We will put Didier all together, and we'll grab some of our other Legends of Signal models and see how he stacks up to everything else out there on the tabletop. All right. We've got Didier all glued together here, and it would help if I probably have him on camera. And you can see he turns out really nice, I gotta say. I really dig the militia group that Legends of Signum put out. Just really well detailed, well modeled, intricate looking town guard type folks. And I love that crazy lantern helmet he's got going on there. So, he did, as I said, come with a 32mm base. He was standing on it earlier. Is he going to be difficult? I hope not. Stacking up some other Legends of Signum models, just to give you guys a good indication of his size. So you can see he is right in line with our priestess lady here and the wolfen obviously should be a little bit larger there are a couple of wolfen that are on 40 and 50 millimeter bases but for the most part they are pretty close in size so i don't think you're going to have too many issues there grabbing a couple other models just to give you guys a good idea our good old witch hunter friend a human conquest model and how about where are you Ah, there he is. Our good old privateer press. Bloody Bradigan Pit. And you know what's funny? For as much belly aching as people complain about the Conquest humans being way too out of scale, I mean, honestly, that doesn't look too bad. They look like they could be, you know, in the same warband if you wanted to do something like Dragon Rampant or something. And... You know, yeah, the detail is a little bit softer on the Conquest men-at-arms here, but I think they work really well together. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Pleasantly surprised. Grabbing a couple other models, a Oathmark human and a Mantic Kings of War human from their Basilian line. 
And again, you can see, yeah, the oath mark stuff is a little bit on the shorter end. I don't know if you gave him a larger base. That might help a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, they're the odd men out, unfortunately. But I think other than that, it's really going to fit in with a lot of the current modern scaled human models out there. So if you wanted to have a very eclectic warband, and I was mistaking um, Dragon Rampant, what I should have been talking about was Mordheim. I think this is a great base for a model for Mordheim. Obviously his armor is a little bit too elaborate and flashy, but the bell and just the details I think would look really great. Um, one of these days i got to get around to just doing a nice full-on customized warband for Mordheim, but <sighs> one thing at a time. Anyway, definitely a cool model. We'll put a link down below. You can check out some of the other Legends of Signum stuff, and they've been teasing some new releases coming soon that look quite entertaining, so do take a look. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberling with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.